happened. But let me tell you about AMSC right down the road here in Devons. 2011, they had their technology stolen by their biggest customer, a Chinese company, Sinovel. And they went from 900 uh, brothers and sisters to 200 brothers and sisters at that factory in no time because their biggest customer ripped off their technology. They were so brazen, they sold some, this Chinese company sold some of these wind turbines back to the Commonwealth. So they were pretty sloppy and they got caught and after seven years, the Department of Justice had a criminal case just decided last January, $800 million. The fines may be up to $4 billion, but you know these workers out in Devons won't get paid unless they win civil cases in China. And you might say, well, good luck with that, except you know, Trump has made intellectual property theft kind of a front burner issue. So I'm, I'm hopeful that these workers will get paid and uh, uh, I'm, you know, I, I'm just, what aggravates me about this story is that nobody from the House Energy and Commerce Committee thought to call a press conference and say, oh, uh, let's call the CEO and some workers down here and say, hey, this is why we have this regulation. This is why we have uh, uh, the Department of Justice out at uh, AMSC. I talked to these people. They were very happy with the Department of Justice, really worked this case for seven years and won for them. The first ever property, uh, intellectual property theft case in uh, 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 of a Chinese company being uh, found guilty. So. Uh, I'm very happy to talk with them and find, but you know, I, I, annoyed that nobody in Washington saw the opportunity because, you know, the Republicans have so demonized government and regulation, the whole idea of government, that when we win something, we've got to stand up and say it, you know? And when we lose something, like the Walmart case, some uh, unions, the, the teachers and the electrical workers, pension funds, sued the board of Walmart because they had been bribing people. There was a Pulitzer Prize winning story in the New York Times bribing Mexican officials to get speedier permits and whatever in, in Mexico for seven years, tens of millions of dollars. And uh, so these pension funds, union pension funds had, had sued the board saying, how come you didn't know this was going on, you know? And uh, this Delaware case threw, uh, Delaware court threw the case out. This is an outrage. And so, again, somebody from uh, the Democratic caucus should have called some of these pension fund people to Washington and said, this is, this is un unbelievable that the, the, the Delaware court would throw this case out. So this is what I'm all about. I'm all about being vocal.